it's a really good experience and you get a feel of what university research is like. It gave me an idea of university life. It's not something we've ever done before. It's made me think about my options. And like getting an insight into what it's like to be a scientist. Now I know what it's like because when I was there I felt like an undergraduate student. I was treated like an undergraduate student and that's what you know really matters. I know what it's like now. I was really happy because I really wanted to know what it was like to be a scientist and I couldn't believe it because there's not um, a lot of people that get placements and the fact that I did it was really good. I got to talk to lots of scientists and ask them about the job and how they find it so that was really interesting and they told me a lot about how they got to be where they were and the different like pathways that I could go down and it was just good to see what they do on a daily basis as well. In school you feel like uh, just a student who's studying physics or biology but there you, you're researching it and you know you're breaking new ground that's really exciting to me. My name is Professor Daniel Nago I'm the head of computer science at the University of Bradford. The students are considered uh, generally uh, a valuable resource in terms of being taught and being expected to learn but I think actually they are more than this because working in an academic environment for projects they are able to see the outcome of their work so they are not just a valuable resource in terms of the impact of the teams but they are a valuable resource because they provide feedback in the projects as well and they are users as well as designers of uh, what will be a deliverable of the future. The content of the projects it was really interesting it's like quite exciting to look at like such a prevalent in like disease. My project is based on uh, using Twitter and other social medias to find drug dealers and other illegal drugs and fake drugs online. I know now that I could do computer science because I did enjoy the project very much and it's helped me in such I have experience with coding now that I never did before. If I go to university to do computer science I'm no longer completely in the dark about it which means I have an advantage over other university students which makes me competitive in like the um, applying to universities and stuff. The biggest challenge in terms of hosting the students for, for us as the Computing Society were probably just it being something new really. It was a, it was a fantastic experience but we don't tend to, to work with students outside university so just getting used to working with people from younger age groups was, uh, was good fun but a challenge at first. The Nuffield Foundation is great. I'm really glad I was given the opportunity. I think that anyone who wants to get into science in particular should definitely try a placement because... For the students, I think it's a, it's a fantastic chance to get some, uh, some real-world experience. It gave me um, an idea of university life. Just getting a bit of independence and... How many people can say at my age that they've written a 5,000 word report on aviation? The students were great. They worked, they worked really, really well. Um, they were fantastic communicators, especially for their age. So it was, it was great for us just to see people interested in the, in the topics and subjects that we promote and we love doing ourselves. Really, really proud of what I've done.